welcome back to my channel guys um today i bring a video where i teach you how to score more than 95 percent on the hesse in one week i'll show you what topics will be covered some examples and tips in the end so um for the resources i'm gonna be putting a lot of links below of quizlets that helped me and that they were very um, close to what came in the actual exam so i'm gonna be putting some links uh, uh, down below and i also will be putting links of my own youtube videos that i made uh, regarding uh, math hesse and grammar hesse so also watch those it's really helpful and the book that i personally used to get prepared was the one that i put here on the right it's the hesse admission assessment it has a really good um examples and it covers all the topics that you need to be successful in so let's get started so um in my school they required this four um areas to be covered so i tested in math anatomy and physiology grammar and reading comprehension so i will be talking about those because it's um the one that's that i took so starting with math i do have a lot of videos in math like i said where um i solve problems and teach you the best ways to uh, you know like tips to solve them so check those out so here are the topics that you will be tested on like conversions so conversions basically if you convert meters to centimeters how will you convert it um and stuff like that so i have a video like of conversions so i'll be putting it down below and i do also have a video of how to solve the conversion problems so if you need to convert for example one uh let's see one liter two milliliters so one liter is equal to 1000 milliliters if you have five liters how much ml is that so um, questions like that then you will be tested in fractions how to multiply fractions how to subtract uh, add divide fractions you do have a calculator in the math portion but you do also have to know how to solve them and um, but if not majority of the why, uh, times it's just putting it in the calculator and getting the answer it's pretty easy and then we have decimals and the next one is uh, where it ties so you need to know how to convert fractions to decimals decimals to fractions okay then we have ratios and proportions uh, these uh, tie a lot with equations which is one of the other topics so like word problems where you need to use uh, ratio and proportion uh, concept then we have roman numerals um, i feel like there's one to two questions for roman numerals so you have to know what each uh, numeral stands for and how to read it then we have percentages. We have a lot of questions on percentages, so be familiar with those. Um, so like, for example, it can ask you what is 75% of 200? So you need to, um, usually you can put that in the calculator again, but if you understand the basic concept of it, like for example, 75% percent, percent means divided by 100. So 75 divided by 100, and then you multiply it with um, 500 as an example. So you, if you know the concept, it will be easier. But usually you just put it in the calculator and you can go on. Um, then we have order of operations. So like they will give you um, 5 multiplied by 4 plus 6 minus 3. So you have to know which one to solve first in that um in that equation and then to go on so which one first so usually first is um you solve anything in in brackets and then you solve multiplication division then addition and subtraction so again i have a video of that so be familiar of what to solve first and what to solve next the other one military time and standard time is very 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 important because there's many questions about that and also if you are uh, gonna 
continue with nursing school or medical field, you know, um, that uh, it will be very useful because we usually in the medical world use military time. Um, so you have to know, okay. So prob probability, so just, just know how to solve the basic because sometimes there's like dice questions. Like if I roll a dice, what is the, prob the probability of um, getting the number five? So you just need to know a concept. And last but not least, word problems. Uh, word problems are very important, but I feel like if you know the other topics and their concepts, like the ones, the all the topics that I mentioned right now before, if you know those, then the word prob pro word problems will be very easy because you just need to understand the, the scenario and then solve it by using your knowledge of the other topics. Then we have AMP, anatomy and physiology. So in this one, um, so obviously this is mostly you need to know all your body systems, which is the next slide. But first, starting first, I would go what general terminology means. So like some basic stuff like, um, for example, anterior and posterior part of the body. What does that mean? Distal and proximal. What is that? Distal is near your center of your uh, line of your body. And uh, sorry, distal means away and proximal means near your center of the body. So stuff like that. Mitosis and meiosis, you have to know the difference and the important steps. What is the difference between them? So mitosis is every cell's reproduction system, while meiosis is the reproductive cells. So like that. Then arteries and vein flow, uh, be very familiar with this. So maybe just print a diagram or watch a YouTube video that explains how to memorize this um, flow because it is very important for you to understand and know how you know the blood flows. Then types of tissues, um, so like the parts of the tissues, I saw two, three questions about that, the epidermis, dermis, and... Um, just know what each tissue, or uh, what each part of the tissue contains. Ear structure, I saw questions about this as well. So know the structure of the ear and like what each part does. Parts and functions of the brain, you know, we have different parts of the brain. What parts are located where and what are they used for? Like the frontal part of the brain, what is that for? So they're going to ask you stuff like that. So like I said, you need to know the systems of the body system. So what I did, I took two systems each day and just, you know, read the overview. It's not going to be detailed. It's not detail, detailed at all. It's just trying to test your knowledge before you enter to nursing school. So you need to know the basics of both. I mean, of each system. So just I would um, go through the quiz list that I said and the book that I mentioned before in the beginning. That one has a really good overview of each system. So the muscular system, nervous, endocrine, circulatory, respiratory, digestive, urinary, urinary reproductive, skeletal, and integumentary, the skin. So yeah, just do two systems each day. Don't... Um, don't take a lot of systems, you know, and try to cover it. Take it slow so you can also, you know, retain the knowledge. Grammar. So I have a video specifically for grammar where I go through each of this topic in examples. So I have parts of speech, like if there's a sentence, what is a noun, what is the adverb, what is the verb, stuff like that. Verbal form tenses, obviously, you need to know your present, past, future, past tense. Pronoun use, um, she, her, he, him, when do you use he, when do you use him. Capitalization, punctuation, rules. Um, I'll have all these rules explained in my video that I'll be putting down below. So, you need to know um, when to capitalize words. Um, and when to use punctuation, like a comma or a period. 
confusing words so there's like some words that um sound similar or are written similar but obviously they have different meanings so you need to know what is what and uh, what it means and when to use it in a sentence and then we have sentence structure which also ties to parts of the speech so just know the structure of your sentence because they will be giving you like a sentence and they will be asking you what is the noun in this sentence so you just um, have to know what that means and reading reading i feel like it's there's no way we can you know you know reading i know reading but um it's just getting the practice because you will have it will be timed and you will be having questions in this test it will be 47 questions in 60 minutes so obviously you do have to be a fast reader which only comes with practice and um what i did was i um so there is some online tests practice tests online so what i did was time myself put a timer and i tried to do it in that specific time questions uh, that will come in the reading after you read the text the questions that they will be asking you um, it will be like what is the main idea in this text what are the supporting details that uh, lead to this sentence finding meaning of words so they will be giving you a word and they will say what does this word mean and depending on the context of the text you just read you have to uh, choose the correct answer of the meaning of the word they will be also asking you what is the purpose of this text why is this text written what is the tone of this text right um, then they will be giving you like a sentence or like a line from the text and they'll be asking you is this a fact or an opinion so you have to see if that sentence is supported by other um by other details or is or is it just an opinion of the author and then last but not least they will can will or can ask you about um the summary of the text so just you will have options to choose from and which sentence summarizes the text given the best so you have to choose that okay and last like i said i will be giving you some study hacks or tips that will make you successful in this hesse preparation uh, or leading to your exam so we have please eat a good breakfast because it's very important for you to be um focused and we don't want you to be feeling hungry when you are taking the test because then your focus is somewhere else it's probably somewhere in like chick-fil-a or taco bell <laughs> anyways then you have to rest the um the day before really well this i feel like many of us don't do that because we have uh, text and text and anxiety but i feel like this is very important because your brain does also need some rest before the big day Find a spot distraction free where it's quiet and you can focus. Plan your week of studying. Like I said, do like a sheet where you're going to put what you're going to study that day. What are you going to review? Are you going to practice some reading text? So what are you going to do? If you have something planned, you can do it day by day and take it from there. Do MCQs every day. So just practice, like I said. Write out helpful points that you find, take some notes, simple notes. And if we all have different ways to learn. So uh, one way that I also learn is by teaching someone what I learned. So like if I'm like I go through the points that I learned. So I'm just, you know, reminding myself going through it. So if that helps you go for it, it helps me. Watch videos, like I said, different learners. Some people like to watch videos and be visual learners, auditory learners. So depending on what, how you learn it best, do that. And of course, don't forget to check my YouTube channel. I have a lot of videos, okay? And um, I hope they're helpful to you. But yeah, don't forget to subscribe, like or comment if you have any questions. Bye guys, see you in my next video.